Nearly 9,000 lucky Michael Jackson fans will pick up tickets to his memorial today. One of those winners, meteorologist PJ Javahari of CBS affiliate KION in Salinas, California. Well, the 6 p.m. newscast was about to get underway, so uh, last thing I turned off my phone as I was doing that, I checked my email. And sure enough, get an email from the Michael Jackson folks. Javahari, like thousands of others, received this email Sunday, telling him he had been chosen to receive two free tickets to Tuesday's event. He's heading to Los Angeles to pick up the passes at Dodger Stadium. Organizers will hand out both tickets and wristbands in hopes of keeping scalpers away. The tickets will admit 11,000 people to the Staples Center, plus another 6,500 to the Nokia Theater next door. For those thinking about coming here without a ticket, officials have a stern warning. You'll be standing in the hot sun on a city street with a lot of other people. As police prepare for a giant public memorial, the Jackson family is putting final touches on its own private ceremony. They say the late singer will be buried at the Forest Lawn Cemetery in Hollywood Hills. Lawyers for the family are also due in court today for a hearing over the singer's estate. They'll be squaring off with attorneys for two co-executors named in Jackson's 2002 will. Before the document surfaced last week, Michael's mother Catherine was granted temporary control over his son's affairs. But now that might all change when a judge decides who will permanently oversee the superstar's massive estate. Elizabeth Sanchez for CBS News, Los Angeles. It was a message more than a million and a half people were waiting for. Staples Center, Michael Jackson, woohoo! Sorry, we regret to inform you, you were not selected. Dumb. Better luck for Adika Montoya of San Francisco. I mean, I only entered once. I didn't think, I didn't think I'd be picked because <laughs> you just keep hearing news reports on millions of people trying to get tickets to this. They gave out 11,000 to the public, and you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows, but. P.J. Havahari is a weatherman at our sister station in Salinas, and he was blown away. Sure enough, get an email from the Michael Jackson folks and uh, from the Memorial Services, and they're saying that I got uh, congratulations on one of the lucky few people to get tickets. Tickets are free, but of course there's eBay. Got three quarters of a million dollars? Forget it. eBay shut it down as it said it would. But through the day, some sneak through. Here's one. That's cheap, $150,300. Ah, eBay caught it. Michael Jackson tickets are not being sold through StubHub. Ticket sites like StubHub are refusing to sell the tickets, too. Sean Pate says even if you bought some from someone else, you'd have a hard time getting in. The transferability of these tickets is, is extremely, it's, it's nearly impossible. There's, there's wristbands, there's a very, very strict set of rules that are going into effect for the lucky few that did get the tickets. You want tickets to Kenny Chesney, the Giants? He's got them. Michael Jackson Memorial, he's not going to touch. Police say they think 700,000 people will try to just get near the Staples Center just to hang out. That's about the entire population of the city of San Francisco. Good luck with that. Mike Sugarman, CBS 5.